Homecoming fireworks. That's right, fireworks from the Webb Center. A culmination of a homecoming Saturday that football fans would probably like to forget. Hi, everybody. Ted Alexander, Andy Mashaw here for Monarch Media. And Andy, homecoming Saturday, Villanova comes in. The Wildcats 4-2 and two overall, 2-1 two and one in the league, and they handed the Monarchs their lunch. Yeah, fireworks in the sky, not so much on the field where we're used to seeing them from this offense. It, Coach Wilder said they got out-executed on offense, defense, special teams. They got out-coached, he said. I think maybe we got out-broadcasted. Nothing went right today. Let's take a look at some of the early action because at the start, everything was rosy. Taylor Heineke wearing gloves for the first time. Balls were a little slippery. He said he, he loved the grip, and he looked great early. He really did. This first ball to Nick Mayers, great, great adjustment by Mayers on the corner and the pylon, hanging in, getting the first touchdown, go up early, 7 to nothing. 7 nothing, 88 yards, first drive, all is fine and dandy on homecoming Saturday. Second drive, boom, you go down, you hit Kirk Spellman with a couple of passes, and suddenly it's 14 zip. Monarchs are rolling. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty pass to Spellman. He hit him right in stride between a couple of defenders. Spellman just sort of kept on cruising, walked into the end zone. That looked really good at that point. 14 nothing. Unfortunately, football games are not 10 minutes long. They are 60 minutes long. And for the next 50, the Cats took the Monarchs to the woodshed, mainly via John Robertson and the ground game. Yeah, John Robertson, but here's some names for you. Bill Vogel, Kyle Wallace, Ross Hill, Josh Bucci, and Vince Kowalski. That's the offensive line for the Villanova Wildcats, who did everything today for them. Everything went well. They were opening up all kinds of lanes, and Robertson just went right in behind them, especially his center, Ross Hall, all day long on the quarterback draw, which is where most of this unholy 189 yards of quarterback rushing yardage came from. Hall was right there leading them every time, and it worked to perfection. Monarchs could not adjust and could not tackle him. 376 yards rushing for the visitors from Philadelphia, and they just grind and grind and grind and take advantage of two Monarch turnovers. Old Dominion, when they still had a shot on this thing, couldn't convert when necessary. Final score, 38-14. Old Dominion drops to 5-1, and 2-1 one, and one in the CAA. Yeah, it's just... When you're playing a team like this that grinds it out on the ground and runs it, your offense is not going to get the same number of opportunities. They're just not because they're going to be sitting on the bench half the time. When you do have those opportunities, you've got to take advantage of them. They didn't. They had a holding call that brought back a touchdown. They had a fumble that would have broken up a, a really big play. They had a couple of other penalties. and it, You can't play a team like this with limited opportunities on offense and expect to keep up with them, and they just didn't do it today. Monarchs came into the game leading the nation with 91 plays a game. Against Villanova, they had 58 plays, and the Wildcats had 85 of their own. Key thing, time of possession, Villanova 40 minutes, Old Dominion 20 minutes. When you can't get your well-oiled offensive machine rolling, it can't be well-oiled and offensive. Yeah, you can't get into a rhythm if you're not on the field, which is what they did. This was a game plan coming in for Villanova. They knew it. They executed it perfectly. So, the final, 38-14. You know what we're going to do with this game? Chuck it. There's more meat on the tray to go eat. For Andy Mishaw, Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.